So here's a scenario. You're laying out a two-color booklet where each page in the body of the booklet consists of a profile of a person who lives in a particular state, with each page displaying the name of the person, their photo, a text profile about the person, and a graphic displaying the state that the person is from. Now there are 50 pages in the body of the booklet, with each page pertaining to each of the 50 states. And your client has provided you with all of the text and photos, but it turns out they won't be sending you the graphic files for the state images until two days before the piece goes to press. And that's cutting things pretty short, but you have a lot to do in the meantime, so you diligently lay out the text and the photos on your page, and you place these little white placeholders for the state images that are still to come, and you also convert your photos to duotones, because remember this is a two-color job, and if I go to my swatch palette, you can see that our two colors are going to be black and PMS 120, which is the yellow color that we're looking at. And that takes some time. And now you're ready, and your client lives up to their promise and delivers the art on time. And now that you have everything in place on your page, you're ready to start placing this art. And so we can click on our placeholder image here, and, we, and I know that this state is going to be the state of Montana. So I'm going to find my Montana.eps image here and I'm going to place it. And that's not looking good even when I get rid of my white box in the background, which is what I intend to do. That state is green and that's not going to be the correct PMS color and I can tell right away just by looking at it, it's not the correct yellow color that we want. I'm going to go to my swatch palette and sure enough, we've introduced a new PMS color, which is Pantone 358. Now I'm hoping that this is just a one-time deal, and that maybe, hopefully, this is the only state that's the wrong color. So I'm going to click on Nevada here, and I'm going to find my Nevada image, and I'm going to place that, and sure enough, it's green. In fact, when I go back and check, it turns out that all 50 states use the PMS 358 color. So at this point, I'm kind of pulling my hair out because the clock's ticking, and I, I'm faced with the prospect of having to open 50, states and 50 state art files in Illustrator and converting each and every one of them to PMS 120. And that's going to be time consuming and uh, totally mind numbing, and I want to avoid that at all costs. And luckily, with the awesome feature of ink aliasing in InDesign, we can avoid that, and we don't even have to leave InDesign in order to fix this problem. So I'm going to get rid of that white background behind Nevada. I'm going to turn my swatch palette off. In order to go to ink aliasing, I'm going to go to my ink manager. And in order to get there, I'm going to go to window, output, separations preview. And here we can see all the plates for our job. We're going to come back to that later. I'm going to go to my drop down menu and choose ink manager here. And I'm going to select the color that I don't want, which is the PMS 358. And I want to alias that color to the color that I do want, which is PMS 120. And by doing that, I go here to Ink Alias, drop down menu, PMS 120. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to leave my separations preview. Now, Let's look at our page spread again, and we see that nothing has happened. Our states are still green. However, if we go up here to View, Overprint Preview, all of a sudden that changes. Now, Overprint Preview is basically an option that enables you to view colors more accurately on screen. And it can slow your computer down a bit, but a lot of people actually do all of their work with Overprint Preview turned on so that they can get a better sense of what's going on with the color on their screen. And this is a perfect example of that. We see here that the green color is gone, and our true PMS 120 color is, uh, is now visible. Now if I go to my swatch palette, I still see that the 358 is displayed. And that's because that color has not been eliminated. We haven't completely eliminated that color from the Illustrator files that we in imported. It's just that that color is being aliased onto the PMS 120. And in order to know that we're safe with this, is we can go back up to our output separations preview palette, and look, that green color is not displayed. We just have the Pantone 120, and this is a true representation of all our color plates that are being printed. And I can scroll through these 
plates by clicking, I could click on cyan first, of course there's no cyan, so we're safe there. Click on magenta, there's no magenta. Click on yellow, no yellow. Click on black, and there's all our black. And I click on our 120, and there it is. I can shift click, and those are our two colors. And we're in good shape. In fact, I don't have to do anything else. I can package this up, send it to the printer, and we're good to go. I'm going to quit out of this, and I'm going to go back to our to our ink manager, to output, separations preview, and ink manager, and I'm going to turn my ink aliasing off. And let's talk about another scenario where ink aliasing is useful. Let's say that we've been laying out these pages using the yellow PMS 120 in black. And let's pretend for now that these state images um, are yellow, that um, we intended all along for these state images to be 120. And we're, we're getting ready to go, we're getting ready to pack this up for the printer. And then all of a sudden our art director calls in a, in a panic and says, stop the presses. We need to change this job from PMS 120 in black to PMS 358 in black. And so, Again, that's really scary because I the PMS 120 or the, is the duotone color that I've used PMS 120 in black in all these photos. So I'm faced with a prospect of having to open each and every one of those duotone photos and changing them all to PMS 358 in black, and that would just be a nightmare. So again, just to show you how amazing this is, I'm going to go back up to my ink aliasing by going to Output Separations Preview ink manager and this time I'm going to map the 120 onto the 358 and look at that all our duotones are instantaneously transformed now hopefully our art director won't actually ask us to do this because this is a pretty horrid looking color but I'm just demonstrating how incredible this feature is that you can actually convert every single duotone that is in your InDesign document to a new color if need be. And that's ink aliasing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.